What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video. Okay, so yesterday we got some pretty decent gameplay on Destiny 2 from IGN. We saw the Voidwalker being used, the Titan Sentinel as well as a tour of the Endless Veil PvP map. These videos gave off some great new information in terms of what Destiny 2 will offer. As to be honest, not much is truly known and a lot is speculation. Having gameplay like IGN's lets us see new things, which is great in building pieces of a game together to kind of figure out how the full game may be. Okay, so let's first talk about the few things which grabbed everyone's attention and then let's talk about the point to the video. Okay, so yesterday within these IGN videos, we got to see the Titan's new Sentinel being used. Instantly, I saw a Titan which moved a lot faster than the Titan I used within the Destiny 2's reveal. The Titan that IGN were using in the Sentinel subclass looked to me like he had a rocket up his ass as he was moving that quick. I must state though the Titan I was using and everybody else is used at these gaming events was the Striker Titan. So comparing the two's jumps, I mean one may be different to the other on certain subclasses. Now I speculated about how I believe Titan Skating was returning in a video I posted yesterday and going off this video we saw from IGN, you can't help but doubt that. Another thing we saw was the Warlock's Voidwalker having the ability to blink. Yes, blink. The crazy thing is, blink really didn't seem to have a cooldown. So it's basically as bad as what it was before they nerfed it within Destiny 1. Another thing we saw was the sidearm. The sidearm seemed to have a lock in the chamber on it. Yes, you heard that right people if this is new info to you. Lock in the chamber on sidearms. Craziness. So you're going to see a lot of people... Um, you know, buying. Last night all of these issues were blowing up on Twitter. Many people complaining about how quick the Titans are able to move again. The Warlocks having blink will be OP, blah 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 blah. You guys can imagine. Many people brought up the point of stating Bungie confirmed blink had been removed along with Titan skating being a thing of the past. In the reveal build I played that was definitely the case. Like I said, the Titan felt super slow. Blink I can't speak for as the Gunslinger and Dawnblade were the only subclasses we got to use from the Hunter and Warlocks. But it seems people, it seems new info has popped up and that is that the build IGN were playing was an old build, a build older than the build I played at the Bungie reveal and no doubt if you played Destiny 2 at a gaming event since the reveal, the build IGN played was older than that too. So in fact guys, this IGN footage is really misinformation now Bungie haven't really come out to the public and stated this and neither have IGN but it's what many people are saying. So you may be asking, how is this confirmed to be older footage? Well besides the fact many big content creators are stating it, which to be honest doesn't really mean shit, not in my opinion anyway. If I was to state I have a source within Bungie stating it was true, what's stopping that info spreading and people confirming it on that basis? Take info from content creators with a pinch of salt until it's confirmed. Many many of them have been wrong, me especially included, and I will admit it. So yeah, take it with a pinch of salt until it's confirmed. Saying that though, it has kind of been confirmed and here's proof. During a gig stream, who I will link in the video description as he's a great dude, Kevin Yanes, who goes by the name of Tolcom11 on Twitter and Tolcom on Twitch, who is a mod for gigs on stream and is also a senior PvP designer at Bungie for Destiny, in Giggs' stream, he confirmed the jump had been torn down basically. The footage of this happening and him commenting on Giggs' stream can be found linked in the video description, but on screen now we have a screenshot of it. Now as far as I am aware, this is what people are going on and referring to this footage as being older than the build we had already played. Yes, that would make sense when Bungie stated Blink and Titan Skating were gone, which again I can't really remember them actually saying, but yeah it is what it is. So it's been slowed down, he states. Didn't seem state this footage IGN were playing was an older build, unless I missed something. So him stating the Titan jump has been slowed down is the basis people are going on and confirming the footage is older than the build we've already experienced. To me it just seems like he stated this has been slowed down since IGN played it, which to be honest could have been any time, it could have been before we played it, could have been after we played it. People kind of have a tendency of taking a 7 page short story, adding a few chapters onto it and passing that story on as a novel. Either way, it has been confirmed that the Titan jump has been slowed down, which is great. And would Bungie allow IGN to post footage of a blink jump if it wasn't in the game for us to play, leading to many people getting excited and many people, well, pissed off at the same time? I wouldn't put it past them to be honest, but you have got to ask yourself that. Would they really do that? Would they really allow footage to drop to the public, allowing it to drop to the public and yet it being false information? Uh, I'm not sure. IGN and Bungie allowing this footage to be released to the public if it is older footage. 
than what we've already experienced and a lot of the things we are seeing is being torn from the game is not very professional not if you ask me anyway either way guys the beta comes out next week i will see you guys on playstation i will see you guys on xbox if you want to add me on either hit me up on twitter for my gamer tag my twitter is at dpjsc08 and is linked in the video description but guys on that note i am out and i hope to see you on that next one Thank <laughs> you.